portion of this video is sponsored by Wondershare Recover It Video Repair. In this video, we will be looking at the hardware performance and structural strength of Realme's latest offering in the premium mid-range segment, the Realme X2. A special thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring part of this video. Recover It Video Repair is part of Wondershare's vast array of recovery and repair tools. There are times when your personal and favorite videos or important video files tend to get corrupt, damaged, inaccessible or unplayable and here's where a software like Recover It Video Repair can come in handy. You can use it to repair corrupted files on your computer just by a few clicks and also batch process to repair or recover multiple bad video files at the same time. Plus it also has that extra feature and ability of repairing extremely corrupt files in just a few seconds. Click the link in the description to learn more and huge thanks to Wondershare to sponsor this part of the video. Coming back to the Realme X2, which was released a few days back, it is the successor of the Realme XT launched just 3 months ago. Compared to the XT, the Realme X2 has beefier specs with Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 730G gaming chipset, an upgraded 32 megapixel selfie camera compared to 16 on the Realme XT, and 30 watts VOOC charging provided in the box. Apart from that, it shares the same goodness of a 64 megapixel primary sensor in the quad camera setup. Super AMOLED display protected by Corning tempered glass, Wideband L1 certification, Dolby Atmos and an under display optical scanner among other things. The free soft case in the box provided by Realme seems to be of the same quality as all other previous Realme devices and is expected to give superior production to the Realme X2. It weighs in almost the same as the Realme X2 at 182 grams which has a slightly lighter in hand feel compared to devices nearing the 200 grams mark. And the glass sandwich plastic build also seems to be doing well in my usual trial bend. Before starting the scratch test, let's have a quick look at how the Realme X2 does at heavy gaming. For you gamers out there, also looking for high quality performance along with the quad cameras. The X2 has the new Snapdragon 730G processor, where the G stands for gaming, coupled with the new Adreno 618 GPU and it has a decent Antutu score much higher than the Realme XT. I did not face any major lags or stutters during normal browsing or heavy gaming and as expected of a gaming processor, it defaults at high graphics settings in PUBG with smooth gameplay. It did stutter a bit in Shadowgun Legends at the highest frame rate settings but besides that, the Realme X2 does an awesome job at heavy gaming. Realme devices always have a pre-applied plastic screen protector and except in the X-Series, it is usually used to cover low quality scratch prone glass with no oleophobic coating. So will the X2 also have the same high quality glass protection as the X and the XT? Let's find out in scratch test. Starting the scratch test to find out the quality of this corning tempered glass protection provided by the company by rubbing it with common items found in pockets and the blade of a heavy duty box cutter. The blade scores a bit less than glass on the most scale of hardness and that's why it is not supposed to scratch or damage glass. But most budget devices of Oppo, Vivo and Realme with pre-applied screen protectors suffer from ugly scratch marks with the exception of Realme X and XT and most recently the Vivo Z1X and U20. Though higher quality tempered glass protection or even basic conning glass on cheaper Redmi devices are easily able to survive the blade abuse. Will the Realme X2 be able to maintain and keep up the name of the X-Series? Apart from the single scratch mark from the key, which I have no explanation for, the Realme X2 passes my scratch test as expected, suffering no damage from the blade. The Realme X2 has a super AMOLED display and since LCD displays are mostly stronger than AMOLED, it's always a nervous experience to perform the drop test on an AMOLED device. 
performing a drop test with a provided case and ordinary tempered glass from pocket and head height from different angles. After 5 hard drops from pocket height, the Realme X2 seems to be doing fine, suffering no cracks or damages as yet. Continuing the drop test, this time from 6 feet head height. The Realme X2 is one of them rare devices which has not suffered any cracks on the glass production. The comparatively lighter weight seems to be a plus point and the X2 passes the drop test without suffering any internal or external damages. Next up in the sound test to check out the audio quality of the bottom firing excellent speakers. The sound quality, clarity and loudness of the Realme X2 is on par with other Realme devices and you should have no issues while enjoying media or taking calls. Next moving on to fun stuff with value, the bend test. To know the build quality of this dual glass sandwich design with a plastic mid frame. Realme devices with their plastic mid frames have never failed my bend test until now. And the X2 also seems to be doing the same after the first bend. It suffers from a good amount of flex and stays a bit bent but manages to handle the bend pressure without making any creaking noises 
and does not suffer from screen production issues or any cracks in the plastic midframe. The second bend from the backside has a higher degree of flex compared to the first but again manages to handle the bend pressure. The body may become slightly bent because of the plastic build but this can be easily rectified. The Realme X2 passes my bend test with ease, suffering absolutely no damage and keeps up the clean record of the X series. Thank you.